Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at uh, using the customization tools in uh, Dad Studio 4. There's uh, a few things right off the bat that you can do. As you see here, uh, I have my uh, scene tab on the left. Now normally it, when you open, originally open up Dad Studio, the scene tab will be on the right. And it's, uh, I don't like it on the right side because I like to use the scene tab on the left and have my parameter settings so I can use, you know, all these sliders on the right here. So I have moved the scene tab to my left. And it's pretty simple to do this. All you have to do is click and drag. And if I wanted to, I could put the scene tab right in the middle. Okay, but, you know, that's not a very good spot. Uh, but originally, it went on this side. And there's different ways you can do this. You can put it there. But, yeah, it's just basically click, drag, put it where you want it. But, of course, I like it over here. So, and I like it to be on top. There we go. And so that's just a simple, basic, uh, you know, easy to do stuff you can uh, do right away. Set up your window exactly the way you feel comfortable doing. And I even have my lip sync tab on this side too because it just makes it easy for me. And I, if I don't need it, I can just drop it down like that. Dash Studio is fun to animate in. But once you customize everything to how you like it, then it's a real joy to play with. Okay, so we go to Edit, Customization, and we get this window here. And we have all these different options. Now, I'm not going to talk about the right side of this window. I'm just going to talk about the left side and this bottom. If you look, you can even change how you control the camera how you view things you know what uh, shortcut keys you can use right now orbit is control alt left mouse button rotate control shift left uh, mouse button uh, so you can change all those to how you like it I don't really change them all that much at least not those so on the left up here we have some key ones that I want to show you. Of course, I can't go through all of these. But if you want to, please do. I mean, make the program how you want it to run. But the main one I'm going to show you is the animation drop down here. So um, I have set up all these different keys. You can take a quick look at how I have these set up. And I'm going to open up this window a little bit more just in case. So you can see uh, all the words and names and stuff. So create a keyframe. I want to do this real quick and easy. So I use shift up. I mean, it's real easy. Shift and arrow up. To delete a keyframe, I use shift and down. Arrow key down. Okay, and the reason why I have those set up that way is because when I toggle through the frames I use the right and left so if you see here skip to next frame so that's just the right arrow key a step to previous frame that's the left arrow key so as I'm going right and left through the animation that I'm creating and then when I want to save a keyframe it's just you know shift up and then, you know, let's say I have a, a keyframe already created. So we have these here, uh, right here. Skip to next keyframe. So that's just the up. Skip, there should be skip to previous. So that's just my down key. So I'm using just those four arrow keys and the shift button to navigate through my animation and create keyframes, delete keyframes, and you know go to the next keyframe 
So you can set this up however you like. Um, this is just my suggestion because I love doing it that way. And uh, as you can see here, play and pause, spacebar, real simple. That's a quick little uh, look at how I do that animation one. And where are the other ones? There's uh, parameters. Okay, parameters. Now there's a lot of options in this parameters. But I think here I'm going to show you there's a key one that I use all the time, or a couple that I use all the time, right here. Memorize. Memorize selected item pose. Let's say you've created a pose and you want to use it somewhere else real quick. You don't want to save it as a preset or something. You just want to, you know, duplicate it somewhere else in your animation. So I use page up for that. And it just makes it real easy. I just hit page up. I have that avatar selected or all the parts that I want to memorize selected and hit page up. And then when I get to the frame that I want to paste, so it's kind of like a copy and paste type thing, when I get to the frame that I want to restore it, then I hit page down. So it's real simple to use this way. Okay, now we're going to go to um, one that I think is pretty important. It's the save, save filters. Pose preset. Okay, I use this all the I don't use the shortcut all the time, but I always have to dig through, uh, you know, the menu to find the post preset. So I'm going to change this and I hopefully this works cuz I don't know if this key is being used for something else. I don't think so. But let's try and change it because I like single key stuff for the stuff I use all the time. That's why, you know, I like to use the arrow keys, the page up, page down cuz they're not being used by anything. So, we're going to change this. Uh, so we go right click, change short keyboard shortcut and I'm going to use the key right next to the one, the number one on the keyboard. And it tells me it's already being used by another action. Do you want to clear all other uses and assign it to this action? Yes. Okay, so I don't know what else it was being used for. I would not suggest you just willy-nilly <laughs> change all the shortcut keys, though try and find out what it was being used for so we so that's how you change one it's really simple well I I think those are kind of the basics and you can go through and look at all the different uh, options that you might have so let's apply that and for some reason it always wants to go to the first tab up here after you save it so we yeah, we applied that, so and then we accept it, and then I can go back to my animate tab, and let's uh, let's save a pose preset. So I hit that button, pops up my pose preset. I want to select all, and then go to here, deselect this. Let's accept. Um, let's put it in the right place. Presets. Poses, I think I have Genesis, yep, Genesis, and we can just put it right there. Um, and we're going to name this uh, Test Preset. There we go, and we go to Contents. As you can tell, it's working on the horse. And where is it? Uh, there it is, right there. So if we wanted to, if we change this around, do, 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 do. Uh -huh. even move his head a little bit like that, and then we just click that. Oh, right there, pose preset. And you know, uh, if you look at the bottom here, you can see me just scrolling through using the arrow keys. And if I wanted to make a, 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 sh a keyframe. It's shift page up, and I want to delete it. Shift page down, down to go to the previous uh, keyframe, uh, down again, go to the first keyframe, up to go to uh, the next keyframe. 
So it's really simple, makes animating so much fun and faster. That's the key point, faster. Okay, so that's the tutorial for today. Uh, have fun, everyone.